So we know from really good experimental studies that when you sleep deprive people, they become insulin resistant. And the more insulin resistant a person is, the less they're able to access their stored energy. So higher insulin resistance means greater difficulty accessing stored energy. So if you're, if you wake up and if you know, you have successive days of poor sleep and you're becoming somewhat insulin resistant, you're going to want to eat more because you're not able to access your own natural stores of fat, which is where we want to go for energy. So if you look at one experiment that was done at the University of Chicago, they took healthy subjects, young subjects, and sleep deprived them for somewhere between 10 and 14 days. So not a huge period of time. And they only let them sleep four hours a night, which by the way, I know a lot of people who are doing that for years at a time. In that 10 to 14 day period of time, their insulin resistance was worsened by 50%. This is, in other words, they they do an experiment called a euglycemic clamp where they inject them with glucose to see how effectively they can put glucose into their cells, mm-hmm. which is, that's the that's the hallmark of insulin sensitivity, is how well you can put glucose into your muscles when it's infused in you. <clears throat> and their capacity to do that was reduced by 50% after such a short intervention. So I think sleep restriction and unhealthy sleep is a, is a very underappreciated cause of metabolic health and weight gain. And then by extension, these other things we're talking about. It seems to me to be the thing furthest upstream in my life that then causes this cascading effect to how I show up in sort of cognitive performance, how well I can articulate myself. If I go yeah. to the gym, how hard my workout is. If I choose healthy options versus unhealthy options. So it feels like the- And, and mood in general. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I, I've said this before and I'm not the first to say this, so I'm paraphrasing others, but if you really stop to think about it, sleep doesn't make a lot of sense from an evolutionary perspective. Like if you go back in time a few hundred thousand years, why would we have spent a third of our life on conscious? It didn't serve our purpose. You can't mate, you can't hunt, and you can't defend yourself. So you have to believe that if we could have evolved out of it, we would have done it, and we didn't. So that means that whatever it's doing, it must be really important. I mean, core essential to our existence. While I will completely acknowledge that different people have a different necessity or requirement for how much they sleep, I still think that many people underestimate how much they need.